What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Riot here back with some Subnautica, just checking out these baller ass slippers on our feet, look at these things, these fins are a bit mind blowing to be honest, I'm not even sure if, they, if there's, is there more of a futuristic design going on here, am I wrong with my normal human flipper fins, or is this, is there something to be said by not extending the length of your foot, but just widthing it, making it more of like a whale fin, so it does look more like a whale tail right there, I think this is more technologically advanced. I'm a little on top of this right now. I think I'm about to go make these kind of flippers and sell them. I don't think it'll... Everyone will be like, what the hell are those though? I'll be like, dude, these are futuristic, professionally tested intergalactic explorer shoes. So basically, the reason for coming into Subnautica today, I know there's been a lot of Subnautica updates down in like the inactive lava biome, which is a lot more active now, I should say. There's like been a lot of prison updates, the whole chamber, the whole breeding aquarium and all that. Which I'm about to go check out in a second too, because those updates were about a few days ago and I'm wondering if anything's changed by now since they're adding just minor layer upon layer. But what I'm here for is new babies have been added. I'm always I'm always down to come check out these updates when there's children being added because like it's like that's my favorite aspect of the game. Finding creatures in their biomes, stealing their eggs, and then raising their children to believe in communist ideas and then send them back into this capitalist ocean. It's the first one we're looking at, actually the only one we're looking at, I don't know if any more have been added. I'm about to mess around with more stuff, but this is the one I'm sure of. Spawn, what is it, crab, squid, egg, look at this bad boy right here. If you remember, this was the one, this was the egg that was in the cage in the, um, in the, uh, Lost River Biome and that whole precursor, precursor experimental base where they have like just, you know, different body parts where they were constructing warpers for the most part. This was what we all thought the sea dragon egg was for a while, which it definitely is not. It's a crab squid egg, so I'm gonna go hatch this little turd. I'm super excited to check out this little buddy. I gotta say, they gave this guy the most epic egg possible. I love, oh my god, what the hell is happening to him? Looks like he's traveling between like 30 or 40 dimensions at a time in Guardians of the Galaxy right there. <laughs> Do you smack that like button if you guys know what I mean by the way because it's all I can think about like I can just see the distortion going on this poor little bugger That's not supposed to happen. There's some pain going on in there <gasps> He hatched so quickly look at this little farts this little baby crab squid. Oh my god. He's he's adorable He's tiny. Let's get a look at how small this thing is on the reels So much smaller than the adults look at him. He's so little he's like this so we could pick him up in our hand See this kind of thing look at this guy just going crazy you hatched so quick you little bugger Wow, this is awesome. This is something I was really looking forward to just because I remember when a crab snakes were added It's just it's this is my favorite aspect of Subnautica right here by far It's because you explore all around and like the best souvenir you can take from going into a new biome is a baby Because I mean obviously like you don't want to get weird with it But if you just keep it in your tank as a little pet, come on. Uh, you understand what a flashlight is, right? We're just gonna flash it all around. Ooh! Emergence. Creepy ass shadows. Get like a huge face hugger vibe from this guy. <gasps> this game needs some kind of face hugger. I understand it'll be a direct xenomorph copy, but on this entire alien planet, it's not crazy to think something here would wrap around your face. See, this is bugging me, because I know we're close. I know we're why why the game just gets so quiet, Andy? A splish splash along the surface. Get some audio. Go the game just got so. There we go. Now there's audio back. That was weird. See, when you go item, cute fish egg, it puts one in your inventory. Like the cute fish egg is here. This is the cute fish egg as of now. It's bothering me because I know there's more stuff about to be added. And just holy crap, this guy grew up fast. What is going on in here? That'd be heartbreaking if it. Oh, you can't put it down in here, crap. That'd be so sad though if it grew up that fast. Like, you leave your base for like, what, five minutes, come back, and he's already a teenager? You missed the adorable years of his life, and now he's just a douchebag with B.O. <laughs> God, I usually can't get this up close to them because they're such hostile little turds. Okay, now supposedly, this has always been a thing. I know it's not like anything new, but it's just never really worked for me. When you like take creatures and you set them free in the environment, they're supposed to be. At least according to certain things I've read, they're supposed to be generally peaceful towards you. Like, you have no control over them, but they won't attack you, correct? Okay, well, you just emitted an EMP, which obviously seems like a little bit of an aggro type thing. Alright, buddy. I don't know if he's... God, what, a, what an amazing brain this creature has. I can just see you floating through space. Sucking energy from power stations on abandoned life bases. This thing just freaked me out. He'd be just in the ground like that. Well, that's cool. At least we're buds now. My best buddy, the crab squid. You know, I raised this guy from birth. So, but you know, they should honestly add some sort of thing. For sure, they need to add more detail to this whole aspect of the game because 
it is kind of funny that you could just take creatures from all over the planet, put them in this one little aquarium, and they just hatch just fine. I feel like different biomes have different temperatures, different vegetation, different prey, different creatures in that environment that make them more suitable to live there. Obviously, whatever's in this creature's food chain may not be found in the safe biome or in the inactive lava biome. Same thing goes if you find, like, angel rays or... Angel rays? Why do I think they're called? They must be called angel rays. Or, like, lava lizards, just different creatures. Freaking, uh, crab snakes, so many different things. Crab snakes, I imagine, would live off more, like... I don't know, whatever kind of little fish are found in that biome. Because, obviously, they're not, like, herbivores. I was gonna say pink mushrooms, because there's so many down there. They essentially live in it. Maybe they eat the algae, the bacteria. No, they have giant claw mouths. They eat large targets. But that's the thing. There aren't even any large targets down in the freaking down in that biome. Which I just wish, basically my point right now, is I wish that when you, like, you would have to have different fish tanks basically adapted to different biomes, you know what I mean? You have to, like, uh, terraform the inside of it, get the temperature base, get, like, the O2 levels, whatever's in there, find vegetation from around the biome and plant it in here, as well as feed them fish that's, like, mainly found in that biome. That would, otherwise they would just die. I think that would be super cool. As well as different creature sizes. Different creature sizes is always welcome. Like, sometimes you find one of these that's tiny, sometimes you find one that's monstrously huge. I like that he's my buddy, though. This is a good thing. Alright, time to get a little mysterious up in here. We're gonna slap on our Scooby-Doo shoes and go investigate to see if anything else has changed in this area. I love when this biome hasn't updated yet, when you just come here. This is what it would look like if there was no lava. You get a clear sight at what lava does to a biome. It's just a giant red glowing. It just goes... Just super Minecrafty. All of a sudden, lava's been poured and everything's bright red and hot. <laughs> Man, this stuff is crazy right here. This is so cool. Oh, there's finally vegetation down here as well. Damn it! This is just anxiety producer. Not anxiety. Not, not anxiety at all. Anxious producing right here. Because you see, see, I was in here about a week ago before these things changed, before these things were added. Back when it was just these crystals. Before they added the platform, it was just the floating crystals. And I was like, I wonder what's going on with those. It's clearly going to be like a floor somewhere in the base. But, see, there's like an orange color, gl orange. I, I called this glowing color orange just now. You know what? Some of you guys might be colorblind out there might see this as orange. So I just adapt my videos to everybody. I, I am amazed at the amount of vegetation growing down here, though. That's like a little curious. Is it growing all over? Because there's not really any vegetation growing in the inactive lava biome. Like, how, how could it? But somehow in this base, it's growing just fine. I wonder if that's because even if you go slightly... Like, I don't know, I may be investigating into the wrong thing right here, something that's not important whatsoever, but it just trips me out that there's absolutely no living vegetation in this biome whatsoever. But then you go down into the base, and then it's just like straight up spring break down here. Still pretty damn exciting though, I assume everyone's already seen the photos online or on like the update page or whatever, but what this is gonna look like for the most part, just like the precursor incubators, it's like damn, there's just gonna be a bunch of eggs all lined up around here and it's gonna be so damn fun. I hear we to see what those eggs look like too, because up until now they've just been using crab squid eggs as placeholders for, um, for the, uh, for the siege, or for the emperor leviathan eggs. Wow, I really froze up right there. Oh, that's just because it's just all the aquarium, man. This in time's so foolish, I didn't even think about it. it. I had to click in my mind for a second, I knew something was going on up there. It's because this entire room is just straight up the aquarium made for the freaking Leviathan. That is so damn awesome. It's straight up been a terraformed to meet its, to meet its like standards and what it can survive in. That's exactly what I was talking about earlier. You can't just put creatures in random rooms and assume they'll survive, su survive, survive perfectly, man. You gotta adapt it to how they're used to living. Sweet! This actually satisfies me. I'm happy the, the entire aquarium is just rich with vegetation. This is probably where I'll be hiding when I'm trying to survive from some weird thing. Ooh, underground in the aquarium. Oh, snap, son. Straight up beautiful down here. They're good. They're going like very extravagant underground in the aquarium. Making it just like the creature's natural ecosystem. I like their style, man. Dude, they really went. They really, they're gonna have some deep tunnels around here. This is exciting. I can't wait till this is all completed. Dude, but see, look at this stuff before it's completed. It just makes me so anxious. It's like getting a peek at your birthday present, but still, I, like, just not getting to open it for some weird reason. That's so weird, there being a teleporter room in the mushroom forest, but no other, like, information, no other, um, I wonder if this is what's going on here. I would expect more precursor designs, because, like, you just, I wonder if this is just, yeah, this one, is this one just more of the newer ones right here, and that's why there's a lot less stuff going on, because there's straight up, like, nothing going on here. I mean, there's, like, zero life. What's, these things are cool, you know, once you walk by them, they stand up. That's, like, a very common precursor structure right there. But other than that, there's like zero light going on whatsoever. There's not even anywhere to put your 
Put your crystals and teleport. The teleport is just not even turned on. Damn, it's so much stuff being constantly added. And you keep snooping around everywhere. I wonder if they still just have a crab squid egg in here. Because I understand that's not what was meant to have happened, correcto? It is! Oh no, it's changed. Ooh, that egg is freaky. Ooh, that egg is freaky as hell. Look at that thing. That egg is spooky. It's got like that. Honestly, that looks like the most painful thing to push out of any hole in a creature ever. That looks horrible right there. Jesus. Sorry, I'm just like, I'm, I'm relating it to like eating something really sharp. I'm probably being a little immature over this, but that is a very epic egg right there. That thing is fresh out of Satan's. See, I'm getting immature again. Still though, it's much better than we had before. It was crab, cr cr oh, damn it, crab, squid, egg. Come on, Johnny. See, this thing, it did look totally, I was, I was totally buying its epicness. It looks, it looked epic enough to be a leviathan egg, but that thing, that thing right there, Jesus, look at that beast. So spiky, so sharp, so awesome. Well, that's cool. Honestly, I think they updated that like a couple weeks ago, to be honest, and I just never came and checked it out. But, because I don't want to just come in here and do a little update video anytime something like there's a hiccup of a change, and then I just kind of like shoot the shit, like talking about nothing for 15 minutes trying to make the video longer. I like to let those updates build up a bit. That is gnarly. Indigenous life forms were brought to this environment and then is subjected to gene manipulation. Honestly, that sounds horrible, but if someone offered to turn me into a mutant, I'd probably take them up on their offer. Life is so boring without superpowers. Dude, this, I can't get over this other egg, though. That is just nuts. Because I remember before, like, you know, we all thought this was the original egg, but it was just a placeholder. This thing, that is one beast-ass egg right there. All right, so that pretty much wraps up the changes I've seen so far this week. We got baby crab squids added to the world. Go try and, oh, burp. Go try and, uh, well, if, you, if your survival series is in experimental mode, go try and find one and hatch one for yourself. This egg is awesome right here. There's going to be so many of these in the incubator down in the inactive lava biome base. That is just going to be awesome. Once that updates a little bit more, I'm very excited. So, uh, see you. If you had a good time watching, make sure to smack that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time. Peace!